Understanding the function of the product that you're designing or redesigning is really important in life cycle thinking and eco design. What's the core function of this product? Does it have any secondary functions? You see, everything that's made, produced and used is done so because somebody wants a function. I mean, I buy this so that I can get hot water and I use one of these so that I can carry hot water. Which cup, though, do you think is achieving its functionality with the least environmental impact? Is it the polystyrene, the paper or the reusable plastic? Well, why don't we find out? The paper cup weighs 12 grams, whereas the polystyrene cup weighs just 2 grams. That means that in order to achieve the functionality of carrying hot liquid, with this cup we need 10 times the amount of materials. So when we look across the entire life cycle of both of these products, what we find out is that this product has 10 times the amount of environmental impact than this one does, which means this one is actually better for the environment. However, it is actually much better if we don't use disposable items and we use something reusable. Something like this reusable plastic cup, whilst it weighs four times as much as the paper one, it's still better as long as you use it a certain amount of times and it also depends on the way you wash it. Because if you put it in a half empty dishwasher, for example, you've wasted a lot of energy. This is a really simple example of how thinking across the life of the product and understanding the different impacts helps us make better decisions. This is the kind of experiment and testing that we do in life cycle assessment to help us understand what materials and products are more preferable for the environment. 